Detroit defense. Hey, buddy. What's up, Rocco? Yesterday was a tough vlog. and just general stands on where the Packers sit right now, Peter. You know what? Yesterday was a tough way to the end of the season. As you guys saw, the Packers lost. Yeah. Got to change hats today. Packer season is over. It was a good one. Thanks, guys, for watching that. Um, it was terrible. I feel like I'm, like, the best, the worst, the best luck to the opponents inside Lambeau Field and the worst luck to the Packers, and um, yeah, that was a rough one. But we're here in Wisconsin now for two more vlogs, um, and uh, geez, got like two hours of sleep last night. Well, not that, I can't even talk right now. <laughs> oh, my parents' kitchen is so lovely. Also, got some great coffee. And all we need is some lovely half and half. It's the creamer that they have. <laughs> Rocco's sitting at the gate. He's like, let me out, let me out. Half and half. Okay, let's get the dog. Oh, brewer season now, or buck season. <laughs> hey, baby boy. No way. How are you doing? Is your tail wagon? He didn't even his treat that they gave him. You went out? You went out? Come on. Let's go. Let's go have some fun. Come on. Come on. That a good boy. Good boy. Come say hello to everybody. What's up, baby? I've only got one more full day with you, dude. Isn't that sad? Isn't that sad? He's always looking for my dad. Can you give me some love too? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh boy. Oh boy. You're a sleepy baby. Ugh. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute as you are. You're so cute. You crawling? Huh? You're so cute. Yeah, baby. Sorry for my dog voice. <laughs> All right. So, wanna go learn a new trick? Come on. Let's go. Oh boy. Let's go learn a new trick. Yeah, I know. So exciting, isn't it? All right. We're gonna go up that ramp. You ready? Yeah? Can I get a speak? Speak? What was that? Can I hear you? Speak. You ready? Speak. There you go. Good oh boy. So Mr. Rocco has been scared to go up this ramp. I'm gonna teach him how with some some treats. You ready? Hey, come here. No, no. Come here. Oh, good boy. Come on up. Oh my gosh. Good boy. You did it right away. Okay. You can have some. There you go. Now you're gonna come down. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I know. I know. Okay. You ready? All right. You're gonna sit, okay? Okay, come down. Oh my gosh, I am the dog whisperer. Good boy. Good boy. Why don't you do this? That was so easy. Am I just your trainer? That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Holy cow. What? You gonna go outside now? You went outside? You wanna go outside? Dude, Rocco, I am so proud of you. Rocco, good boy. Oh my god, it's freezing. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Now stay out there. So as you guys may know or may not know, my time here on YouTube is uh is winding down before my break. Um, for again, for those who don't know. I'm gonna be taking a break on the 14th through. I actually don't know how long I'm gonna be going on a break anymore. It might be longer than eight days. It's really just gonna be how I, I like ultimately feel about how long I go on a break. For sure it's seven days, but that's when it is gonna be starting. 
and our time here is like pretty much dwindling down here on YouTube before the, the big break of the year. I've been seeing some of your guys' comments too and you're like, oh my gosh, I thought it was gonna be like a month break. So this is, these couple days are gonna be good. Um, which I, I totally agree. That's why I kind of put in some more thought that maybe it might be better to take a longer than a week break. Cause I very seldomly get breaks and it's really nice to kind of just decompress here on YouTube. And I guess it's kind of like an update vlog again, but it's a Q and A. I had asked on Instagram for you guys to comment, uh, sorry, to reply some questions and boy, did you guys definitely answer on that. So a lot of burning questions are going to be answered today here at my home in Wisconsin. I really didn't want to do much today. And my sister, my mom, and my dad are all working. I don't have a car. And it's been a while since I've done a q and I don't even know the last time we've done one. It's been that long. We've been so busy. So busy, especially with my Packers losing. We've been so busy. That was terrible. Like last night? Oh, hey, baby. Come on. Come Come here. Oh, good boy. So Rocco is like my dad's dog. So it's really kind of cute and he actually shows you affection because he's a chihuahua basically terrier mix or something. And he gets attached to like one person a lot. And that was really cute that he like, did you sniff me and kiss my leg? He never kisses legs. He only kisses me, honestly. I was his trainer, right? I trained you all your tricks. Oh, okay. That was my alarm. I had originally set it for 11 a.m. because Yesterday's vlog, the one with the Packer game, I had so many complications on YouTube and it always happens when you edit at 2 a.m. in the morning and then you're up for another two hours. It was quite the fiasco, so I'm very tired today. That's why I'm like pretty much chugging coffee. Um, off topic real quick, since it is 2023, it is kind of nuts to me on how this is my third year being a full-time YouTuber content creator. It's been a blessing. It's been absolutely insane. All my dreams have can come true and are coming true. It's been such a wild ride. It's incredible just coming back home and just knowing how much work you put in every single day to where you were as a kid, where you were in middle school and high school and what you wanted. Like you're doing, I'm doing what I dreamed of. And it's always fun to come back home to the roots and be, just be like, Kyle, look at you, man. You're doing so good and it's all because you took the biggest risk of your life to do what you wanna wanna do in life and and here we are. It's so it's so cool because I know the mindset I was here and I was just like I was really wanting to do this, but I never know I knew how to get started as a content creator. I just kept working my butt off and finding what works, finding what you guys like to watch, finding what I like to make. And it's been such a journey and I'm so proud of myself and it's nuts. It's so nuts. I used to just literally walk back and forth in this house trying to figure out how I can get to where I am right now. And I was lost I and I didn't know what to do. And it's crazy just coming back home knowing I'm doing exactly what I wanted to do way back when. Um, so what I'm saying is thank you guys so much. It's incredible. Um, our views are like 50% up from last year already. Um, we are 100% up on a lot of other things too. It's it's incredible. It's incredible. Um, <laughs> Taylor, have you seen it? my wallet? This is funny story from last night. It didn't make the vlog because I was so worried and panicked. I, I had like five layers on. Five layers on, like six pockets. And I lost my wallet, okay? I lost my wallet of the game before the game. And I was like, ooh! I, I had to cancel my credit cards while I froze my credit cards and Oh, it was, it, was, it was like, it was terrible. You know, I lost my game. I mean, I lost my wallet at the game when you're walking like sardines and I'm like, where the heck is my wallet? Where's my wallet? Where's my wallet? Kind of, you know, intoxicated. And I just came to the conclusion, I'm not gonna find it. So I went back to the game. I was like, yo, you like, I, I, I don't know where my wallet is. It's whatever, we're good, cards are canceled. I just don't know how I'm gonna get back home because I'm gonna travel without an ID. And I put my phone in my pocket and it fell down my snow pants. And I was like, Eli, see, this is how I lost my wallet because it just went down my snow pants and fell on the ground. I lift my pants up and in it, the lip of the boot is my 
freaking wallet that has been lost for 30 minutes, but I've had it on my body the whole time. <laughs> Very embarrassing. Um, when is the family cruise? Um, we haven't announced it yet, but it is coming soon within a couple months. Uh, why did Rogers throw that pick? I don't know. I don't know. I think you're bad luck at the Packers game. I, I honestly think so too. It's so sad. Like I spend so much money every time we lose. We lose all the time. I don't think I'm going to be going to another December game or January game ever in Lambeau Field for a while. I got to save some money. Who the Packers play in the playoffs? You're funny. The one thing I have to eat, cheese curds. And I know I kind of have it down in Florida. Culver's is also a really good one. It just hits better up here. And then there's also a restaurant down in Port Washington called, called Beanie's. I love Beanie's. Their chips and salsa are amazing. And uh, their sizzling fajitas are delicious. They're so good. Those are kind of like my musts. <laughs> The curds last night of the game, um, they froze pretty fast. You gotta eat those cheese curds pretty good if you, you want it to be runny. It was so cold. How many rooms do you want your future house to be? Um, looking at three or four, it's really hard to find kind of a smaller home here in Florida since they're like these big mansions. But I really do like how the house prices are coming down and we are pre-approved, baby. We got pre-approved, we are, um, on the on the hunt basically any day now i could find a house but still waiting on my taxes to be to be done but i have been pre-approved i haven't announced that since my last video because we we're still working on the pre-approval from uh, the hypothetical taxes that i'm be paying this year and with dog breed i think most of you guys know i love my golden retrievers sorry rocco you hear that rocco yeah he doesn't hear me he's a senior dog i think he has hearing problems now did you have braces on it? Yeah, I did. I had um, for about a year and a half from eighth grade to freshman year. And I could have sworn I remember them saying that I never had to have a retainer. So I don't have a retainer. My bottom teeth are kind of getting a little bit crooked back to how they used to be. So I might be getting some Invisalign or something. But yeah, um, I had braces on my teeth. When are you going to make a trip to Europe or Japan? The goal is this year. The goal is this year. No idea when, but the price has to be right too with the flights because you know, it's like five grand. Five grand is nuts. It's nuts. It's 2023 and it still costs $5,000 to fly across to Europe or something like that. Um, holy cow, Kyler. I had to wait so long in the lines in the bathroom. I've never seen anything like that before because usually when I go to games, especially in Lambo, I uh, try not to drink because of that because it's you pack like sardines in there. It, it, it felt like walking down Main Street USA after the parade dumps and like, you know, there's people just, it was nuts. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. And then trying to pee when you have like six pants on, bibs, a jacket, it's so hard to do that. So it takes extra longer, but it's also warm inside those bathrooms. So that's why um, I went to the bathroom as well, but I had to go too. What's your favorite thing about making YouTube videos? Um, Probably the creative aspect of doing it every day. Now, every day is not for everybody because sometimes I even struggle to get out of bed to make some videos, but then it just turns into like any other job um, and you just do it. Like some days you don't want to get out of bed. Like I sometimes don't want to get out of bed. I hurt, my disease is acting up or I'm just really tired. And I just like that aspect of how challenging it is, but it's something like I've been doing my whole life. I love making videos. It's something I've always loved to do. And I say it every time, find something you love to do and try to do that for a living because it's the best reward that you can ever have in life. <clears throat> what is your plans for your next cruise? So here's the thing. Cruises right now are very hard to get and they're very expensive. Cruising is back. I really wanted to go one on every month this year. Not gonna happen. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen unless, cause I'm, I'm missing January for sure because we have a trip that I actually haven't announced yet coming at the end of January. So stay tuned for that. But so far I don't have a cruise planned. I might be going on with Laura. I might be going on a solo. I might be going on one next week, possibly on my break. 
I uh, might be taking a cruise on my break, but I still might be vlogging it because I hate not vlogging cruise ships. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say, Kyle, don't vlog your cruise ship, but I really want to. It's so hard for me to put down the camera. So hard. It is so hard. Like, it's, it's sometimes very impossible. So that's why I, like, force myself not to. But if I do book that, I will be vlogging it technically on my break, and that will be up after my break. Um, so, yeah. It's up in the air. Do you think you're bad luck to the Packers? Yep, I really do. And it's so unfortunate because I'm a season ticket holder. Do tears freeze in Lambo? They sure do. They sure do, but <laughs> can't be freaking lost. <sighs> is it worth posting it shorts on YouTube? This is so fun. I love giving YouTube advice. Now, for me personally, I'm not a shorts creator. I may be in the future, but it's not something I'm always like drawn to. Like I am long format videos. I've just always been a long format person. Um, if you're just getting started out, possibly yes, maybe, because YouTube's gonna start paying creators more than it TikTok pays their creators. So YouTube Shorts is going to be a great way to maybe get discovered and ultimately paid as well. You're gonna need to make the thresholds. I don't really know much about it. I think it's like 10 million views in 30 days or something. Um, but yeah, if you wanna get discovered, it's one of the best ways to get discovered right now on YouTube is the YouTube shorts. And I think um, if you're just getting started, like I said, it's it's a good thing to do, especially TikTok too. I just never got into shorts. It's just too much, too much, especially on a daily vlog. Would you ever do a Disney marathon? Oh, dude, we, we just missed that. Next year, it just looks really fun and be cool to like film training videos. That's something I really wanna do. It was supposed to be this year that I wanted to do was get back into running and lifting, living a healthier lifestyle. But it's so it's it's so hard. Um, so this year I'm going to try my darnest to do it. I do turn 29 this year, which is nuts. It's nuts. I'm the big 30 next year. Um, please go to a Bucks game while in Wisconsin. Fortunately, we are not. Do you ever get sponsors as a YouTuber? I'm very picky with sponsors. I get emails every day with sponsors, but. I don't really like to monetize my channel in that way unless it's a good fit because I only want to monetize when it's a, a brand, a company, a product, something that I would personally use. So I'm very selective on my sponsorships because why would I want to tell you guys about something that isn't a good product, you know, or it would fit on my channel just to have an easy paycheck. I'm not like that. So that's why I usually don't do a lot of sponsorships. Ooh, can we get another Six Flags gurney? Yeah, we'll be back up. That might be something we do a lot this year, going to Six Flags, because Laura and I said we were gonna do that this year. Just ran out of time. <laughs> Crazy, right? Ran out of time in a year. There's just so much to vlog. So much to vlog. It's insane. Like, I'm really excited about this year. It's gonna be a big year. When will we get to meet your new girlfriend? Wow. Now, a lot of you guys were asking about this. So, here's where we are at. Um, and I know since I'm, you know, a YouTuber, I put my life out there pretty on the daily, and a lot of you guys are interested, which I understand and I know. I told you guys I did have a girlfriend. We've been seeing for each other for a while now. It's gonna happen soon. Sooner than later, just because we've been, been talking about it more. She's comfortable with it, I'm comfortable with it. It's just, you know, like the, the protective aspect and you know, when we're ready, we're ready. And um, it's gonna be coming soon. It's gonna be coming soon and I'm, I'm really excited just because there's been so many times when she's been vlogging with me and I just don't vlog her. And um, I wanted to start sharing you know, YouTube with her. And I really wanted to make sure her relationship was strong before just putting her out there. Because it's not just my life, it's her life as well that are gonna have multiple eyes on, on her. So soon, 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 soon. No date yet. So take it as you will there. If you're not vlogging, what would you be doing for a living? I say this every time. I would be finding a way to be doing what I'm doing. I would be working my butt off to get to where I'm at. And I feel like I have. And now it's just still working my butt off. It's a lot of work, but it's just so fun. Maybe one of these, day, one of these days I'll get an editor, but editor, I love that aspect of editing. Like it's hard to give away that control and it's also a lot of money, so that's not in the future anytime soon. <laughs> what inspired you to start vlogging? Um, honestly, it was my next door neighbor over there. He would always have a camera when we were younger, 
and he's the one who kind of just created my passion for vlogging because I vlogging I saw him it wasn't vlogging back then it was just like documented everything um, he's the one who inspired me to do that I looked up to him and yeah loved it ever since <laughs> another girlfriend reveal yeah coming soon coming soon coming soon to a channel TV near you hope we can see your house tour videos this year so can I like I'm so serious <laughs> about buying a house, guys. I've just always wanted to be a homeowner. Um, I didn't think it was gonna be possible, but I mean, I've been truly blessed, truly, truly just, you know, I just can't wait to create that kind of content. Um, I always pride myself in kind of being like a lifestyle vlogger. And that those are some videos I really can't wait to make, especially if I want to renovate a house. That'd be really fun, a lot of fun. So, ah! Uh! I can't wait for house videos. And it seems like you guys like those videos as well. It's just really fun and different for me to make, you know? Do I think I'll be a DBC member soon? No. Now that I'm buying a house, I don't think I have like 20 grand just to kind of just, there you go, Disney, take it. And I have a house, so it really makes no sense to be a DBC member, you know? <laughs> How does it feel from going from Florida to Wisconsin? I was actually really warm last night. Like, incredibly warm. Three socks on three pants on, a sweatshirt, a shirt, um, and bibs, jacket. I was warm, I was warm, warmer than I thought. But I can't go outside right now. If I open that door, I'll start freezing. Like my feet are always cold here in Wisconsin. Aw, other than like, subscribe, watch your videos, what can we do to help reach your goals in 2023? Honestly, just be here every day, comment, liking it. I've never had someone say that before, thank you. Holy cow. Um, yeah, just just be here, you know? Just drop a like, um, watch the videos. Thanks, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ooh, Rocco, come here. Come here for this one, baby. I don't even think you know the answer to this, baby. Sorry, buddy. Honey, do you know the answer to this? Will you talk about how you met your girlfriend. Do you know how I met my girlfriend? Do you know? Huh? No, you don't know? If it's not, it's okay, if not. Well, I think we'll probably talk about that, how I met my girlfriend, when she starts coming in the videos. We'll probably kind of maybe do a sit down video and, and stuff and answer all your guys' questions. Um, that, that should be coming soon. Right, baby? Right, baby? Boy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a, ooh, whoop. Can I get a, woof, woof, woof. Can I get a, lo, 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 lo. Say hi, everybody, Rocco. Look at that. How we met. How we meet, baby. <laughs> You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Okay. Your star time is over. Right? I think you're okay with that. And with that, I think that's gonna wrap up our, our daily video today, our Q&A. Um, tomorrow, we have our last day here in Wisconsin. Alexa will be in the video because she's finally off from work. Um, but thanks for sending in all the questions. Thank you so much for kicking this year off. Amazing, as far as the Packers losing, kind of stinks. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>